And it was like a scene right out of the Twilight Zone. You're listening to Kyle Britton sing that tune, and that's me in the thick fog on a recent storm chase in the Canadian prairies. Have a listen. We're in southern Saskatchewan, and this cell that we've been with that's been severe worn this evening has rolled over this area. The reason it's so foggy is because there's been large hail. What it's done is it's cooled the surface, almost like snow on the roads, and it's basically forming a, a cloud right at the surface, like a fog, a dense layer. So I had to have Kyle put his four ways on so that I could actually see him ahead because it's so foggy, I could barely see anything. <laughs> True story. And in this case, this storm dropped so much hail and it stayed right in the same line as the roadway that we were on. So we drove right through that hail swath for quite some time. How this happened, super cool water droplets forming uh, hailstones in the thunderstorm happen because the updraft is shooting those hailstones way, way high up in the cloud. They get uh, heavier and eventually they get so heavy that they fall to the ground. Once it coated the surface, it immediately has an effect on the weather. Basically, we see that lower layer of the atmosphere, a very shallow layer, gets cooled so abruptly that it cools and condenses into a cloud right at the surface and can be a immediate change in weather. So you can drive in and out of a thunderstorm right into a fog layer. So be careful out there. 